do or not. Let's see how I turn that off. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, I think I do. Hi guys. I think I have service. Um, hi, welcome. Come on in here. Come on in and see what we're up to. Um, you guys are on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage. My name is Tammy Neff and we are working in a basement. We are doing, um, we're, we, um, well, let me flip you around. You all saw uh, our mess um, trying to get the ceiling done. Let's see, I need to clean off my, hang on, <laughs> there. That's better. <laughs> um, we got the ceiling all sprayed out um, and it turned out really great. All of the uh, beams and um, the duct work and all that stuff is painted. We are working on painting the paneling closet uh, part where the furnace is and all of that stuff back in there. Then the rest of this was all concrete block. So. Um, when we sprayed the ceiling, we sprayed the walls as well, okay? Then we troweled on, um, I have a mixture that I use um, of uh, mostly drywall compound and caulking. Um, and anyway, it's a, re it's a little recipe that we have and it makes the, um, it makes the grout uh, stronger so that it doesn't chip off as easily. Uh, if you bump it with anything like regular just drywall compound wood um, and then we just used a flat trowel um, let's see they're out here but you know what I mean oh, I don't know if you do know what I mean and I know there's like four of you that are wanting to do this so let me come out here and show you we use we use this trowel to scoop it out of the bucket and then we use a flat trowel well, that's not a very good one. And this isn't a very good one either, but like a flat trowel like this, or you can get fancy ones um, like these that are stainless. I like using these, but anyway, um, we use these flat ones and you just rub it on. So you take the scooper and scoop it out. Then you use the flat one and you dip into your mix and you spread it on the wall and you hit and skip. Like we, we wanted to let some of that brown show through. So we hit and skip and you drag the flat part over. And then instead of like, like if this was the trowel, instead of tipping it just a little bit like that and like you would typically fill nail holes, you want the flat part to go flat. And then you, if you tap on it, you can create all of these crevices and things so if you get any smooth areas you don't like here's a smooth area we try and not get too many smooth areas like that we try and play in it this is a lot of square footage so you're going to see some uh flat spots and some not flat spots so now we're coming in with a glaze uh, and paint mixture and we are going over the walls to uh, tone down the brown and warm up the white so now we've got this sort of look. Um, so uh, this is where we are right now. Jess is over there rolling it on. We, were, we usually brush this on, but um, you know, things never go the same way as you plan. So we were, uh, full coverage was better because of the contrast with the white and the brown. So we are putting the whole thing on. Um, I'm cutting in over here, I'm doing all the high work and cutting her in around so that she can come around and roll it in and then we're going to come back if the homeowner wants she may be happy with it like this but my plan was to come in and make some dark spots and some light spots and and do some aging and she's got this really cool i'm not sure you guys can tell but there's like a rounded sort of wall right there and that's going to be in the back of the bar so i'm at least going to really want to try and blow that area out because everyone's going to be sitting there looking that way so so whether she has us do it everywhere or not, I'm not sure, but um, our plan is to really max that area uh, out. And then the rest of it might be nice and restful for your eye, like my basement. You know, I've got a couple walls that are bricked and um, all of the colors and foils and met metallics and stuff. So it's nice to have a place to rest your eye as well. So that's where we are. Um, I know I told you guys I would show you. <laughs> so before we were, we were starting to get it covered, so I thought I would show you real quick. But this was all paneling, so I should have got on a little bit earlier and showed you. Hey, did you get inside those rooms, that block, that closet, Natalie? Did you get inside that closet, the walls? 
Yeah, and then back there too? Okay, all right, all right, I just didn't look back. Okay, just for you, I said clean it up. Okay, um, and then she decided to add this area. They took, a, they took a wall thing out here yesterday, so we're gonna have to come in and mud this right here um, with our goop <laughs> to make it match this. So um, anyway, that didn't get finished, um, nor did it get the brown base coat, but we're gonna go with it anyway. It should be fine. And then it goes around the corner and we're stopping right there and painting that closet color. Yeah, Dawn, what? that block back there gets that closet color. Oh, oh, but it doesn't get primer. That's right, and you were doing primer. Yeah. Yeah, when you do the wall paint, it'll get that. Yeah, so I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Right sorry, I wasn't thinking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Um, yes, Patricia, you could. I'm going to read your comments and I'm going to get back to work, okay? So I just thought I'd show you guys. I know you guys have been curious, those that might be watching first time or like, what is this all about? But um, so this might not be the best video for you to watch. But those that have been with me for a while know that we're always into unique things. So um, good morning, Lauren. Hi, Martha and Cheryl. Good morning, guys. Thank you for sharing. That's nice, Darlene. Thank you. Uh, oops, I said the word. I'm supposed to say sprinkling. <laughs> oh, you're glad you caught me up. Me too, Cheryl. Um, it is a cool process. Um, and yes, you could do it on paneling. And you're very welcome, Terry. And that's it. So I'm going to roll, uh, literally roll, and <laughs> get, this, um, get this painted. There's just hard at work. I'm not getting you. Well, I am kind of. Now I'm not. <laughs> but, well, if I don't, then it's a shadow. So, yeah, you can see how much... This is just um, two down. This color is called Sand Dollar, and the ceiling is called Kaffee, K-A-F-F-E-E. -E. It's like coffee with a K-A. So anyway, uh, we're working on the same strip, which is always important when you're using your colors. Uh, so there you go. That's what we've got going, and the husband was so excited, he's already started decorating with a little fireball on the beam. <laughs> we thought that was funny when we came in this morning. <laughs> he's anxious for us to get the heck out of here. So, okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to jump out and get back to work, and then when we start adding other colors, um, if it's dry enough today or it may be tomorrow, I will show you that process, and then we're also going to be um, painting the floor. So it's start, let's see, oh, what just happened um there um it was this gray color this is where our paint buckets were and then as we sprayed the ceilings of course it all fell and so <laughs> we're going to be painting the floor there's a good he had a box sitting there so that's the gray so we've got a we're going to work with this brown as a base coat and um be painting out the floors as well so anyway that'll be of course last so hope this is what you guys were looking for hopefully this helped you and i'll talk to you later bye